Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel again. Um, I'm going to be doing another system review. Uh, if you watched my last video, I mentioned the fact that I uh, picked up a lovely little handheld. Uh, I actually went over to uh, Tunbridge Wells this time to CEX to get this. Um, it was the only one sort of nearby to me that they had in stock and uh, I really don't like getting things for the post to be honest if I can possibly avoid it. Um, I've had too much go missing. So I decided to jump in the car once again and zoom over to Sunbridge Wells. Me and my boy had a bit of a road trip and uh, we went and picked it up. Now this is the little beauty. He says find trying to find it. Uh, this is the little beauty here. And uh, I know what you're going to think as soon as you see it. But that's a bloody DS. Or a 3DS. No, it's not. No, definitely not. Uh, as you might notice, there is no cameras. It is uh, the same type of sh shape, shell, if you like. As you can see, no markings on the bottom. So yeah, it does look very much like a uh, 3DS. You, you'd be very right in thinking that. But this is where all those comparisons end. There we are. This is in fact the GPD XD. Now this is the uh, the original GPD XD. There has, uh, since this one was released, there has been a, a, an upgrade, if you like, um, called the GPD XD uh, Plus. Uh, it looks exactly the same as this original model. Exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is under the hood. Um, it has uh, more RAM, it has a faster processor. Uh, uh, this one can't run, for instance, the um, the uh, GameCube emulator Dolphin, uh, whereas the new one can. Although it apparently has a lot of flaws, and uh, uh, most people consider this to be the better of the two, even though it can't run the GameCube games. So yeah, that is what it is for the GPD. XD. Whoa, let's try and do this without dropping it. So yeah, you can see obviously it looks like a DS that way. Internally, um, sorry, under the under the screen if you like. Uh, it doesn't look like it at all, does it? I mean, you got you got two di you know where the where the second screen would be on the DS. You've got the the two directional pads here, and you've got a whole array of buttons here, which is home screen, volume, and so on. Uh, and then obviously you put it into sleep mode. Um, here you've got the uh, that, you know the buttons, your usual action buttons, and there you've got a lovely little, uh, well, <laughs> I always call it a, a plus symbol, but of course it's the uh, yeah it's the uh, the uh, standard um, directional pad, uh, and here we have more buttons as we are on you know so we start, select, and so on. So yeah, and and this one here is actually just a. The branding and it also I believe has a little magnet in it which uh, then turns the screen off when you shut it just under this metal strip here so yeah as you can see it's a lovely looking thing and the screen on this is absolutely fantastic but what does it do I hear you ask well it's actually an Android device um, and I know a lot of people say you should stay away from this type of Android device, you know, it's going to be out of date in no time and all this. But to be quite honest, um, it's an emulator's, emulation person's dream. It really is, it's fantastic for emulation. And, uh, you know, all right, the, the emulators, you know, they, they carry on being updated even past the, uh, the software. And that's maybe uh, of the Android that you're using, um, you know. But at the end of the day, this is already doing all those emulators. Fantastic. And you have two ways of going about it as well. Um, you have the built-in emulators, which are under the Happy Chick app. You know, you can go on there and play them all straight out of the box. Or you can do what I've done with a lot of them. And you actually purchase the, uh, the full um, apps from the App Store, which is what I've done donkeys years ago I bought all of them 
that I wanted obviously uh, there's a very few still out there that I probably haven't bought yet but the majority of them I've bought they're fully paired ones and they run like an absolute dream and I'm getting all the updates still on this and even when the updates stop it's still playing absolutely fantastic so I'm sure I won't really care you know uh, there are certain things that don't run very well on here obviously when you watched my um, you know my Nintendo Switch controller running with my Huawei P30 Pro um, the um, Atari Jaguar emulator was running perfect there was just no flaw in it whatsoever absolutely perfect on here it runs like a bitch it's very slow and laggy and basically unplayable uh, but that is really the the only one I've come across maybe one or two of the PSP games run a bit slow um, on the PSP emulator um, again they run flawlessly on my Huawei P30 Pro um, but on here yeah one or two games I've come across play a bit laggy but uh, the majority of them are, are absolutely fine perfect in fact you know I was playing uh, Shadow of Memories or as it's known in America Shadow of Destiny and it was running a treat and that's quite an intense uh, graphical game and uh, it ran superb on here so yeah it may have its limitations in the future but as long as you've already got everything on there and running I can't see it ever being a problem to be honest and that, yeah and it's come down in price a lot this this version has come down in price a lot I remember when it was first released uh, which is some years ago now I think probably about four years ago if not more um, it was it was priced at about 190 pounds something like that and uh, you can I mean I picked this one up for 105 uh, from CEX but of course it's a, uh, a pre-owned it had no box didn't have the original charger um, and it's got a few marks on it and uh, it's only the 16 gig, uh, internal memory 16 gig uh, I've got a 32 gig card in it um, and you can also get the uh, bigger model which is a 32 gig I believe and then there's the uh, the premium one which is 64 gig which is a uh, red I believe on this this model uh, I used to have the red one a long time ago uh, I broke it so I had to go and get another one basically yeah I do miss that one it was beautiful absolutely stunning in red but you know what this will be fine too so what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to uh, have a look at the emulators and uh, see what they're like running on here I've got a wide range of scope for you to see so yeah let's shut this up for a bit and uh, I'll see you in a minute with uh, a look at the emulators running on this beastie see you then right welcome back people um, as uh, Stuart Ashen would say and well in his case it would be uh, welcome to the brown sofa welcome to my beautiful brown game room carpet let's have a look at it shall we um, first of all we'll have a look around the uh, the buttons and so on shall we well we'll start at the top let's start at the beginning I'm hoping that this is going to focus in enough to do this it always likes to play me up when I do this especially when something's black it seems pack it in right so here we are we have some lovely shoulder buttons here which counters uh, uh, R1, uh, L1, so left and right. And then we have R1 and L, sorry, R2 and L2 here. These are just absolutely lovely feeling buttons, all four of them. And then we have the ports. We have the headphone jack. Yeah. Let's just see if I can just stop this. Hey, pack it in. Uh, then we have the uh, it's a, a micro HDMI, so that is brilliant because you can plug it into the TV. You have your power adapter uh, port and your SD card where you can fill up that lovely SD card with all your games. Uh, currently, I have a 32 gig sitting in it. Right on the back, oh sorry, on the bottom, very boring. Just four rubber grommets, which uh, actually have the screws underneath to take this thing apart. Uh, and the feet, that is it. That's all you've got there. Very boring. Top, extremely boring, because there's absolutely nothing. 
here we have your power indicator nice and full at the moment on green nothing there and nothing there so yeah that's basically it here let's open it up obviously i've already kind of uh, explained these buttons to you but we'll go over them again absolutely gorgeous screen it's one of the best screens i've ever seen on a device like this here we have your analog nubs two of them there we have the l and r3 buttons here we have a very unusual place i have to say the uh up and down um volume in a weird weird place here we have a button mapping button this is to get uh, bring up your your menu to swipe it away this is your power button sleep button here we have the lovely obviously cross pad beautiful there we have your start select your back button and your home button this here is a nice little metal plate and under that i do believe there is a magnet which turns the screen off when you shut it here we have the usual a b and x and y yep absolutely brilliant you couldn't ask for more buttons could you really i think it pretty much uh, you know gives you everything you need for all the emulators right now we're going to take a look at what's going on inside turn it on as i say a gorgeous screen i seem to have 101 notifications there we should just get rid of them there we are right so what i like to do with mine is uh, get copyright infringement by putting things like this in the uh, middle of my screen ha ha uh, you know i like to uh, categorize all my different emulators so what i've done on this particular device and i do on most of them to be honest on most of my emulator machines uh, emulation machines is um i do them by the manufacturer if you like like for instance here nintendo we have n64 we have nes snes game boy color which also does game boy games uh game boy advance and sega i have at the moment uh the dreamcast the mega drive and game gear i have got a lot more which i just haven't got around to putting on yet here we have the atari which is obviously the atari jaguar which runs like a pig unfortunately the lynx and the uh, 2600 and here we have a neo geo so it's yeah basically like your neo geo ages uh, arcade machine one and your uh, neo geo pocket color which is this one here uh over to sony next and playstation so we have the psp we have the ps1 and another ps1 because what you tend to find with emulators is some will play uh, certain games better than others the uh, psp is a fantastic emulator on here but there is certain games that just play so laggy and badly um, they're, they're pretty unplayable but as a general rule and especially my all-time favorite yes as you know from my previous videos uh, my favorite game literally of all time is shadow of memories as it was released here in the uh, in the uh, united states it was called the shadow of destiny uh, and it plays that flawless and that is a you know that is a pretty intense uh, graphical uh, game yeah uh, here we have odds and sods so you've got your panasonic 3do there which on here runs like a dream uh, you've got wonder swan you have calico and then uh, you have happy chick which of course is a you know it's, it's a built-in bloatware type emulator which does everything uh, you can even get the roms through it is a very very dodgy legal issue there i suppose but the one thing about happy chick is some of the emulators play fantastic and what i've discovered is that the dreamcast one i have here which i've been using for years when they updated it the last time they made it into a complete pile of shit and um, the happy chick one has the older version and it's fantastic so yeah if you're going to play dreamcast games on here um uh, you definitely got to get the happy chick and use that because um there is one other way of getting around the emulation thing and making it so you can overclock your machine and all that um, and that is to install uh, skeleton's custom rom um 
he's taken it down because what people were doing was they were downloading it and then selling them at extortionate rates of course um so unfortunately um he's he's taken the link down for that and uh i mean i didn't have any intention initially to do that to this but um i said to my son the other day i said to him you know what i, I want to play saturn games on here for instance which are uh, running like a pig on here um and skeletons rom uh custom rom sorts that out you know his custom os on top of here makes it into a vanilla android experience and you can overclock it um it's, it claims it, it roots it, but to be quite honest, it's rooted already. This is rooted out of the box, even with the GPD um, firmware on it. It is already rooted. So there will be a way to overclock it anyway, and I've just got to look into it. But yeah, I would have liked to have the skeleton ROM on there, but, you know, fair enough. So enough haha, <laughs> guff there, yeah. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could put, uh, you could probably track it down somewhere, skeleton's ROM and uh, you know, custom ROM, put it on. Um, but yeah, go to Happy Chick in the meantime. Uh, and then down here, I think that's just, uh, yeah, these are some of the game stores, game fronts, if you like, the uh, sort of like Chinese ones where you can get all sorts of weird and wonderful shit. And that's it, there. And these are just your normal Android crap, you know, I always put YouTube on everything. And there's my File Explorer and, you know, my browsers and Play Store. So yeah, that's that. that's basically it there. So... Shall we take a look at some games playing? Well, for instance, we're going to go into here. Uh, this is your Nintendo folder again, of course. And uh, what I want to uh, show you is um, kind of like what I mean about the graphical differences you can get out of a different emulator, if you like. You know, like this is Moopin. So we're going to resume a game, which is DiddyCon. Here we go. The buttons map automatically, by the way, but I, can you see there? Absolutely awful. Now, Moopin runs like a fucking dream on my uh, Huawei, but it runs awful, awful on here, as you can see. Now, when you can track it down, there is a, a, a an emulator called um, N64OID. It was taken off the store years ago. You can still find the APK out there, and it plays all the N64 games flawlessly. But unfortunately it's not updated anymore, of course. But if you can get older, that's brilliant. But until then, let's come out here. And I'll show you why you should still have Happy Chick on here. Just be careful when you're downloading that you're not picking up any bloody viruses or anything, you know. You always take a risk with anything like Happy Chick. But go into here. <clears throat> You won't see a great deal of difference, but you will see some graphical differences. Right, here we go. Obviously try and get us to the point where we left off on the other emulator, so I can actually show you the difference. Oh, come on, you. the graphics are uh, good at the moment aren't they but you will still see some graphical glitches but nothing as dreadful as uh, Moopin because it's not Moopin's fault Moopin is absolutely fantastic as I say on my phone but here we go you can see uh, in a minute no doubt some glitches in the background there let's have a look yeah can you see them there look but they're nowhere near as drastic as uh, especially the waterfall there look nowhere near as drastic as they were on uh, Moopin because this is actually running Moopin, believe it or not, even on the uh, built-in one. Uh, it's just an older version again. You know, sometimes when they update them, it's not for the best, is it? You know, oh dear, here we go. I'm going to have to go back up here. Come on, back up, you little bugger. Ah, go that way, I'm fine. But yeah, there you see. It's playing uh, a little bit better, isn't it? Still graphical glitches. Nowhere near as bad as it was on there. Uh, the, uh, Looping that's available on the store at the moment. Extremely playable, though, still. Extremely playable. But yeah, if you possibly can, 
track down that APK. I will do later again. I always put it on my um, on my uh, Android devices, which is the obviously as I said the N64 OID. Get that because it plays them flawlessly. But this is still very playable. Don't get me wrong, you can still get some fun out of this one. Right, we're going to come out of that because we won't have time for everything else if we don't. So yeah, that's your N64 emulator. I'm only going to show probably one game from uh, certain emulators. I won't even show you all the emulators because we would be here all night, I presume. So let's come out of uh, Happy Chick. Right, next one I'm going to show you is... Let's go back in and do some more Nintendo. Um, blah, blah, blah. Game Boy Advance. Look, let's have a look at Crash Bandicoot. Now I've got to remember, there's a certain button that kicks you out of the game every time. I've got to remember not to keep pressing that. I've got a feeling it's the B button. But anyway, here we go. As you can see, it looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. It runs flawlessly. As long as you don't hit that stupid back button. By accident, you'd be fine. Ah, like that, you see. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> it shows you the net warts and all videos. Jesus, I certainly do you know, do keep uh, giving them to you, don't I? These uh, messed up videos. But anyway, yeah, I mean, that showed you something there, didn't it? Right, let's go into... Oh, what shall we choose this time? We're not going to go back into Game Boy Advance. That was just silly, wasn't it? Right, okay. Let's have a look at Super Retro, which is your SNES emulator. Let's have a look at a bit of uh, Aladdin, shall we? Yeah, let's do a bit of Aladdin. There we go. Now again, you'll see this is flawless. Absolutely fantastic. Give me the food. There we go. You can see that was absolutely spot on, perfect sound and uh, visuals. And again, and we'll take a look at NES games. Oh, there's only two on there at the moment. Oh, well, at least it gives us a bit of an experience. Oh, shall we play the legendary game? You know, there's a little bit of a history with this game. It is actually considered, mm, well, one of the one of maybe three or four rarest games ever, and Little Samson is one of them. Especially if you get a box copy. I mean, the, even the um, you know the cartridge on its own is uh, crazy money, especially in the United States. So let's have a look at one of the most expensive games in the world, shall we? Little Samson. Again, button. Look, the buttons disappear as soon as you press it. The on-screen buttons vanish because they are very annoying. Can you believe that this is one of the most expensive games in the world? I mean, I love this game. It's, it's brilliant. It really is. When I can remember how to do it, oh, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to die in a minute. Right, well, that was a quick glance at the little Samson for you. All right, let's come out of that. All right. And there's, of course, another one, very, very rare one, the Flintstones. Yeah, the Flintstones at, what's it called again? Don't know. Dinosaur Peak or something. Yep, yep, Dinosaur Peak. Right, let's come out. 
let's go down to the Sega folder. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go up to. I've got any Mega Drive games on here? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at Game Cube and Game Cube Game Gear. Right, let's have a look at. Mm -mm -mm. What we got here? Uh, must it move? Let's have a look at a simple puzzler. Oh dear, looks like I died there, doesn't it? That was a continue there. Right, let's see. See, the sound is fantastic again. Spot on. And all this, although this is a very uh, slow game anyway, it shows you exactly how brilliantly uh, it runs on here as well. I'm going to die on purpose. And bang. One more. Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So that is uh, some, of, some of them we've looked at there. I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at the um, Neo Geo Pocket, I think. And um, the Freedio afterwards again, to show you just how well it actually does work on it. Let's have a look at... Do, 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 do. Let's have a look at... This is... Of course, as you, as you all know, I have all of these uh, consoles in my collection. So, yes, I can get the original game and play it. So, no, I'm not uh, a naughty, naughty pirate. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, let's go for this one. No, I've just picked any random one. and it's King of Fighters something. Oh, and it's in Japanese by the looks of this. Oh, I to press here. Because I can't read this, I don't know. Hmm. That's what I'll do. Thank you very much. Yeah, I should have definitely clicked on one that had English text, eh? But it's only just to show you quickly, anyway. Oh, this appears to be some kind of a board game. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea, was it? Let's uh, quit that one, I think. Yeah, close game. Right. We'll pick a different one. Uh, uh, here we go. This one. We'll try this one. Fatal Fury. As you can see, fantastic sound, fantastic glitchless brilliance of their graphics. Oh, this is just this is just brilliant. It's like playing the original thing. Fantastic again, and a fantastic uh, emulator. Wow, that is just brilliant. I'm playing badly though. <laughs> right, so that was that one. Yeah, I do want to quit. Thank you. Right, well, I said we'd take a look at, oh no, we're going to take a look at the PlayStation Portable first, the PSP, because I'm going to show you my all-time favourite game. So in a way, we could do a little bit of a review of my all-time favourite game, well, that's it, couldn't we? Now, of course, the version I've got here, he says, grabbing his vape machine quickly, is the American version, because as I explained earlier, um, my all-time favourite game of all time in, uh, in England and in Europe as such, it was called Shadow of Memories. But it was released in the United States as Shadow uh, of Destiny. So we're going to take a look at that, he says. To just
quickly grabbing the vape. Ah, that's better. Right, so yeah, there it is. Shadow of Memories as I know it. Shadow of Destiny. The buttons are still up on this one because I haven't actually got rid of them yet. So we're going to have to put up with that, I'm afraid. I'll let the cinematics run on this one because it is stunning. Lovely uh, intro there. As I say, my all time favourite game. Uh, basically, the, uh, the idea of it is uh, you uh, get murdered at the beginning, as you'll see in a minute, and uh, you got to kind of time travel to uh, find out who bloody killed you. Basically, you got to find the little squirrel that stabbed you to death. Uh, I'll show you that bit now, as you get killed. Very, very underrated game, this. Uh, at the time, all the reviews were very, very positive. But um, hardly anybody ever remembers it these days, and it's very underrated. Gorgeous looking game. Uh, I played it on the PS2 for years, because it was released on there, originally. PS2 version doesn't have those black and white bits, if I remember right. I don't know why they weirdly added it to this version. It's identical in every other way. I don't remember it being there. I might be wrong. Quote me in the comments if I'm wrong. And it was on the uh, PS2 version. These weird black and white bits they do here. Here comes a little fucker now going to go and stab me. Oh, there. Oh, those black and white bits there. I'm sure I remember them. And the, uh, as I say, on the PS2 version, I'm not sure they were there. Pretty sure they weren't. Yeah, I'm dead. Now we've got to find out who did it. You go back in time, you fall in love, you you track down your grandfather and your great grandfather, and yeah, and you slowly, surely you unravel the whole secret of why you've been stabbed. Right, we're going to stop it there, and um, because I honestly would be there for hours if I had the chance, I really, really would. Oh, no, we've gone back. Oops. No, 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 no. Go away. No, stop. Right, okay. So let's go out of there. Right. We're going to have a look at the 3DO, I believe I said. And that'll be the last one, I think. It's just to show you basically how well these games do run on here. And we'll show you with this one with... I tell you what, I'll show you the game that I was actually showing you on the, the uh, actual hardware. You know, on my uh, Panasonic 3DO review, um, I showed you Starblade. I'm going to show you just how well it runs on this beast. Or just how uh, fantastic it runs on this beast, I should say. 
compared to the actual real hardware. And of course the version that was on the uh, I was playing with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller on my phone. Sorry, there you go. Let's continue here. Do you know what? I don't even think I'm playing that. Maybe the buttons haven't been mapped very well yet for this. But anyway, as you can see, I mean, from the cinematics there, just how well it does actually play it is uh, fantastic. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to map those buttons. But yeah, I mean, just showing you the intro there already was uh, showing you exactly just how full speed and uh, the sound quality is uh, brilliant. Right. Let's come out of that. And uh, yeah, we'll do my uh, my usual recap. Uh, and what do I think of it? Thing. Well, I mean, I had one for, for years and years and years. Um, absolutely loved it. That's why when I broke it. I had to get myself another one because it is my emulation machine of choice. Uh, it plays everything nearly um, and fantastically. Now, of course, it's up to you whether you want to use just the installed Happy Chick or if you want to go the other route, which I've done. But I have kept Happy Chick, I must say, because obviously Happy Chick does play certain things better. Uh, yeah, hunt out your uh, N64 OID and things like that. And I tell you what, you can't go wrong with a machine like this. It is absolutely fantastic. It's everything you could want in your pocket. It is exactly the same. I say exactly the same. I'm, I shouldn't really say that because I'm not too sure. But it's very much the same size as the 3DS XL. Um, so you can use the carry cases from it and things like that. Which I'm going to slip this little bad boy into a Pikachu, I believe, case I have over there. Yep, uh, sitting down there. With a, the moment's got my DSi XL in it, but I'm going to take him out and put him on display. And I'm going to slip this beauty in here because, of course, he lives upstairs. He's not in the game room because I play him too much. Yeah. So that, that should tell you how good it is. So, yeah. As I say about this magnet thing, look, you put that down. Then that kicks in. Like that, and then you can see it's turned... Oh, he's, he's saying that and he hasn't turned it off. It does, it does turn it off, I promise. So, yeah, fantastic little machine. You can't go wrong. And for the prices that you can pick it up for now, it's well worth it, absolutely. You love your emulation, you can't go wrong. So, that was another system review there. Um, you know, obviously, if people want me to, I can do some more uh, emulation running off this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do any particular console, particular game even, you know, uh, give me a request and I'll uh, do that for you. I'll show you exactly how it runs on this little beast. So, uh, my next video is uh, going to be on, he says, I really don't know. Once again, I'm, I'm still pondering over that one. So, uh, yeah, but whatever it might be, I hope you join me again anyway. And I hope you still like my content, you know, um, I've realised that... Um, you know, uh, I'm, I must be doing something wrong on here. Uh, I'm getting the views, but I'm not getting the subs. So please, 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 please sub me. Um, you know, I don't want to sound like a begging letter, but please do, because it does make my channel, you know, grow. Uh, it certainly encourages me to keep making videos. I mean, um, you know, it's it, anything. Anything, you, uh, you know, if you comment, you can like... You can subscribe, you can tap that bell icon, you know, it all helps. So yeah, thank you for joining me again, and I'll see you on the next one, whatever it may be, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.